Hey, welcome in, Grateful Gap family. Blessed day. Uh, I'm going to make this brief, kind of just want to get this message out here for what we have to do to continue our part to, um, you know, welcome Jehovah's kingdom into the world. So a uh, daily verse for the day of this uh, September 3rd, 2024, derived from the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 33, and it states as follows. Keep looking, keep awake, for you do not know when the appointed time is. Amen. And again, that's from the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 33. And this morning, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to speak about being a messenger and a carrier of the good news. Okay. And if we don't know what the good news is, the good news is declaring the return of Jesus Christ, declaring the kingdom of God is on the way. So Jehovah's kingdom is en route. And just like the book of Mark chapter 13, verse 33 says, keep looking, keep awake, you know, keep, keep anticipating the, the kingdom of God because it's, it's coming. It's inevitable. And we have to do our part at continuing to spread the message, spread the good news, continue to go out, go out and preach and speak to people on the daily to ask, do you know our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Do you know his father, Jehovah? We have to do that. We have to take charge. We have to be carriers and, and deliverers of the message. OK, we have to go out and speak. We have to spread the word, the word from ends to end. All right. Because it says in the Bible that every inhabited part of the earth will have the good news. We'll we'll be able to know and understand, first of all, God's word, the Bible, because the Bible is part of the good news. Also, spreading, spreading Jehovah's word but also declaring the good news and let people know that the King of heaven, Jesus Christ is on the way. He's on the way. He's on the way to crush Satan. He's on the way to take away everything that Satan's system gave to us. He's here to replace it with everything Jehovah intended for us in the beginning. Perfect life, perfect health, happiness, peace, all those type of things that we cannot get in this system. But, Jehovah's kingdom is en route and we have to carry the message. We have to spread the word. So that's why I charge y'all today. I charge you today to spread the word, spread the message of the good news, spread the Holy scripture, spread the good news. Jehovah's kingdom is en route. And also speak about how we're able to be worthy and be a part of the, be a part of God's kingdom. Okay. Exercising the faith, following the principles that were set before Jesus Christ. Love Jehovah, love thy neighbor. Those type of things help us to be prepared to receive God's kingdom. Find and walk the cramped and narrow road. Follow Jesus Christ to Jehovah and we will have everlasting life. All right. So do our part. Do your part to spread the good news. Spread the good news. Declare the kingship of Jesus Christ. All right. It's holy. Jesus Christ will be the only ruler of Jehovah's kingdom. There will never be another ruler. Satan's system is ruled by many governments, but there will only be one government, one heavenly government body, Jesus and Jesus and 144,000 righteous human beings will be the, the political party for, for Jehovah's kingdom. Okay. And no politics, there'll be no voting, no anything like that, because those 144,000 humans who ascended to heaven will have will have everything they needed to have happen in their life and have experience to be able to help Jesus Christ, you know, set the guidelines for his kingdom. OK, so but be on the lookout, y'all be prepared again to clear the good news, be a carrier of the scripture, be a carrier of the good news, be a be a um excuse me be a message carrier just like jesus was jesus went out and declared the good news for three and a half years of his life all right even before that again because he was learning about the scriptures and things of that nature but he was baptized and he went out and he preached and he preached to anybody who was willing to listen and he even preached to people in crowds and if you if you stayed and listened you listened if you was a bystander you were walking past and you heard you heard hopefully it resonated with you you know what i mean but we have to do our part just as jesus christ did to be able to declare the good news of his father, Jehovah, Jehovah kingdom. So that's what I charge us today to do in your life. Take 
charge, take pride in being able to learn, first of all, about Jehovah's word, have a relationship with Jehovah, have a relationship with his son, Jesus Christ, and to be able to go out and spread the good news, go out and speak to people, go out and go out and to change people's lives. Okay. Because everybody don't know about, everybody don't know the meaning of Jesus return. I used to hear that all the time growing up. Jesus is returning. Jesus is returning. But as I found out and I grew and I learned and I studied myself and Jehovah opened my eyes more to me. I mean, open, open uh, my eyes more. I understood and I, and I learned that Jesus return means that Satan is going to be done away with this system of things that we live in now of all this wickedness and evilness will be done away with. So take charge and to inform people that Jesus return is not a scary thing for the ones who are following him, but it's a scary thing for the ones who are following Satan and being of this world and being wicked. So, cause Jesus Christ already knows that he's the judge. So when he comes down to be able to put it into all things wicked and of Satan, would you rather be with the meek or would you rather be with the ones that are going to be destroyed? So take charge, take charge, carry the, carry the good news, spread the good news any and everywhere. Don't shy from it. Let them know you serve Jehovah. Let them know you serve his son, Jesus Christ. All right. So I love y'all, man. Take care of yourselves. Y'all be blessed. Have a great today. All right, today is a gift, truly, every day. Let's make the best of it. Y'all be safe. I love y'all. Until next time, good news. Peace.